Welcome back. You're watching Power Breakfast here on CNBC TV 18. We spoke about macros, uh, about markets as well. It's time to talk about the commodity space. Manisha Gupta, as always, is joining us with all the updates from there. Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you for that. I'll start with the crude oil prices where we have seen further slippages coming in. Remember, the prices have declined by 14% in past four weeks. And the latest news suggests that the Saudi Aramco has cut official selling price for Asia for the month of June. But having said that, China refiners are asking for lower supplies for June, and that is weighing on to the markets. In the other uh, sectors, metal prices have continued to see further decline. Nickel, if you look at that, is trading at a seven-month lows right now as we are looking at production increasing there. Well, uh, the construction activity in the first quarter of China fell by 20% year-on-year. The China new bank loans have seen a decline in April. We've seen construction numbers coming on the weaker side, and so has been the case with the producer inflation numbers as well. So that's weighing on. So you have iron ore trading at a five-month lows, steel prices trading at four-month lows, zinc at a new 26-month uh, uh, lows, so, yes, there is pressure that's continued in metals even in the morning today. Okay, some pressure on metals. Thank you, uh, Manisha, for joining us with that take. So, that's all about commodity markets moving.